بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم انادر ویڈیو آن سم آف دا ڈیفیکلٹ ایم سی کیوز وچ یو مائٹ انکاؤنٹر ان دی اپ کمنگ ایگزام سو پلیز گو تھرو دیز ایم سی کیوز اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈ وائی دی آنسر از اے اسپیسیفک آنسر Now uh, coming to question, uh, the first question, the diagram shows a bean seedling soon after it has germinated. Where is most water absorbed? Now, where is most water absorbed would be where? Can't be A, that's the shoot, B is the cotyledon, and C and D, there is a now difference. Now, D is the internal core of the root, and then there is the root hair cell. So basically, the answer is going to be C, because it's going to be absorbed here into the root hair cell. and then the water is going to move into the root which is this is the main the d is the root next question scientists investigate the movement of substances in a plant they cut a ring of tissue from the stem removing the tissue remove some of the transport vessels found around the edge of the stem so you remember now in the stem what do you have you have the vascular bundles on the outside right So the vascular bundles are on the outside and you have to remember is that the xylem is on the inside. Right? So the xylem is on the inside. So if they are removing, what are they removing? They are removing the phloem. The phloem is on the outside. So they are removing the phloem which is on the outside. So it says uh, removing the tissue removes of the transfer found around the edge of the stem. a day later a few days later they notice swelling above the area where the tissue has been removed so you see this swelling here now what has happened what they have done is they have cut the uh, they've cut the phloem so the phloem has been removed this area has been cut now what happens now if they have cut the phloem so the so sucrose which is coming in here now can't go down so the phloem vessels have been removed and sucrose cannot move to the roots where well, remember the roots are the sink because roots cannot photosynthesize what is source source is the provider sink is the user so the roots cannot photosynthesize so they are sink so that is why the answer is a question next a uh, person eats food containing protein some of the amino acids in the proteins are converted to urea and excreted from the body So proteins are converted to amino acids where you have only three cho- two choices stomach or the liver so we know it's not the liver so the proteins that you eat for instance if you add some meat the meat is going to be converted to amino acids by the digestive enzyme pepsin in the stomach and the small intestine so one can be either stomach or small intestine but there's no choice of small intestine then uh, two is amino acids to urea you know that deamination takes place in the liver so process 2 has to be only the liver and where does urea form the urine in the kidney the urea remove the urea is removed from the blood by the kidney and then it's passed out as urine so that is why the answer is a so in question 44 which row about the tropic response is correct gravitropism now you know gravitropism is the the movement towards gravity so roots will always grow towards gravity and so the answers on these two we narrow down to these two phototropism means shoots will grow towards light and shoots will uh, towards light so this is the answer towards the light source so that is why the answer is d you see phototropism shoots will grow towards light and roots will go away from light so this is how we were going to do this question then coming to question number 45 What is the sequence of events in sexual reproduction in plants? Growth of the pollen tube, fertilization, pollination. Growth of the pollen tube, fertilization, fertil- uh, pollination. So be- besides, you've got to understand that there are only three things they're talking about. Growth of the pollen tube, fertilization, and then pollination. So basically, in these three processes, pollination has to come first. So pollination, then the growth of the pollen tube, and then fertilization. I mean, that was a very... a uh, basic thing that we have to understand either uh, you know that first pollination has to take place then the growth of the pollen tube has to take place and then fertilization has to take place so that is why the answer is d which statement describes passive immunity you know passive immunity is ready made antibodies which statement describes passive immunity now which statement describes passive immunity the process of antigen production in the body sorry antigens are on the microorganisms antigens are on the microorganism either on the bacteria that is entering your body or on the virus that is entering your body 
So B is defense against pathogens by antibodies acquired from another individual. Remember, passive immunity is mother to fetus. So the mother's lymphocytes make antibodies and then they cross the placenta or in the mother's milk. So that is why the answer is B. Now, why is C wrong? The type of immunity that results from a vaccination. In vaccination, we give the weakened pathogen and that contains the antigens and your lymphocytes make antibodies against it. And then we give you a booster. So we revise it for the lymphocytes. We make them do a revision course. So that is again active immunity, but it's artificial active immunity. Immunity that results in the production of memory cells. No, in passive immunity, there is no antigenic exposure. There is no memory cell wali kahani. There is no memory cell story. Then coming to question number 47. A sex link condition is caused by a recessive alley. A healthy male and female are both unaffected by the condition, but the female has one copy of the recessive alley. So one is this. And one is this. What is the chance of their offspring being affected by the sex linked condition? As this is a sex linked disorder, so you've got to do the genetics of it. So it says a sex linked condition is called by a recess, a healthy male. So healthy male has to be X capital A Y. Y has got to be X capital A Y because Y does not a sex linked disorder. Y does not carry that genetic information. It's a smaller chromosome. So X A Y and the female has is a heterozygous X uh, big A X small A. Now, what are the children that they're going to have? This is going to be a normal female. This is going to be a normal male. And this is going to be a, well, a carrier female. And this is going to be the affected male. So uh, the answer is C, 25% of all their offsprings. So this is 25% of all their offsprings. But could have been 50% of uh, the male of 50% uh, because you see this is male and this is male. So 50% of the male offspring would also have been correct. But of course, these are wrong. 50% of all their offspring is wrong. 100% of male and 0% of female is wrong. 50% uh, of male offspring and 25%. You see the female, are, none of them are affected. Because one female is X capital A, X capital A. She's fine. She's normal. And this one is also, she's got one. Because a recessive trait is only present if both the small A's are present. But because... In a sex link disorder, even if one small is present on the male chromosome, then that is going to show its effect. Because there's nothing on the Y to null the effect of this uh, condition. Next question, the graph shows how much penicillin is produced by the fungus uh, penicillium in a fermenter. It also shows the concentration of sugars, ammonium ions and penicillium. Penicillium uses sugars as a food source and needs ammonium ions. What does the graph show about the conditions needed for penicillin production? When is the penicillin production the highest? It is here at this point. Now, what is ammonium ions are less here and sugars are also less here. So this is the sugar graph. And this is the ammonium ion graph. So both are low. So most penicillin is produced when the concentrations are low. The others don't work. A high concentration of ammonia must be maintained. No, ammonia is very low here at this point. At this point, ammonia is very low and the penicillin, penicillin production is the highest at this point. Penicillium cannot produce penicillin when its concentration decreases. No, it's still producing penicillin when the penicillium concentration is decreasing. Sugars must be added constantly to the fermenter. Now the sugar has decreased. The sugar has gone down. But still the penicillium is, penicillin is being produced. So please read the question carefully and understand what they're saying. Does the graph tell you this? Next question 50. The diagram shows the uptake of mineral ions by root hair cells. Inside root hair cell and energy cell membrane, mineral ion passing into the root hair cell from the soil. What type of molecule is this? What is this? This is a channel protein. This is a channel protein. We've done this in a previous paper in which we've talked about channel proteins and I've shown you diagrams of channel proteins. Next question, the basis on the strands of a DNA molecule have the sequence A, A, T, C, T, G. Now, you know the base pairing rule is A, T, G, C. So what is the corresponding sequence of bases on the other strand? All you have to do is A, T, you just have to do it like I've just done this here. So that is why the answer is D. 
A T. Whether if A is here, then it has to be T here. If T is here, there has to be A here. If G is here, then has to be C here. If there is C here, then has to be G here. So that is the base pairing rule. That is something that we must all remember. That's why I keep on telling you A T at government college, just to remember it. Translocation is the movement of sucrose and amino acids in the phloem tissue of a plant from source to sink. Which organ can act as a source? Flower is a sink because it's using all the nutrients to build up that flower. Growing shoot tip is a tip is a sink. New developing root is a sink because it's developing, so it is uh, is being used. It's you is a user. I always say source is a producer and uh, user is the sink. So D is the storage root which is going to release all that. So that why the answer to this is D. Which component of blood produces antibodies? Now we all know that. Phagocytes, phagocytosis, plasma carries glucose, amino acids, red blood cells carry oxygen. So the answer is A, which is lymphocytes, which produce antibodies. Please do not confuse antibodies and antibiotics. Antibiotics is something else, and antibodies is something else. Then it says, which graph shows how the pressure inside the lungs changes when taking one breath in? Uh, next question: Which graph shows how the pressure inside the lung changes when taking what one breath in? Now you've got to remember this is a very trick question. That uh, why do you inhale? The volume of the chest cavity increases. Diaphragm moves down, rib cage moves up. So air moves in from high pressure to low pressure. So the pressure has to be less than the atmospheric pressure. So the pressure is less and the pressure will keep on decreasing and then it will slowly increase because you see it will remain because then when you start exhaling then you have to increase more pressure this is the situation when you will exhale so what you have to understand is that when you are inhaling it says pressure changes inside the lung when taking one breath in why the do, why does air move in why does air not move into a dead person because there's no change in volume the change in volume results in a negative inside the chest cavity. So air moves in. Air moves in from atmospheric high pressure to low pressure in the lungs. So the pressure in the lungs has to be low, less than the atmospheric pressure. You, they have given you this point as the atmospheric pressure. So the pressure has to be low. Otherwise, why would you inhale? Air has to move in from high pressure to low pressure. So the pressure inside the lungs, in the pressure inside the lungs is going to decrease and then slowly recover. And then you're going to start exhaling. And then exhale is going to be the other way around. So pressure inside the lungs changes when taking one breath in. Air moves in from high pressure to low pressure. So the, the atmospheric pressure has to be low in the lungs. So please understand this question. Little trick question, difficult question. Now, question 55, some features that help to defend the body against pathogens are listed. Against pathogens are listed. Mucus. Mucus in the trachea traps the pathogens and the cilia then sweep the mucus upwards. Skin, yes, prevents all the pathogens in the air entering our body tissues. Stomach acid, what does it do? It makes the pH for the pepsin to work, makes it acidic. And of course, it also kills some of the pathogens. But phagocytosis occurs when the pathogen has entered your body. So which features can prevent pathogens from entering the body, body tissue? So only phagocytosis was wrong because phagocytosis only takes place once the pathogen has entered and now is inside your body. And then from the blood, the phagocytes move out of the blood and then kill the uh, invading organism. So four cannot be present. So that is why answer is B, which is one, two, and three. The structures listed are part of the nervous system, brain, effector, receptor, relay, neuron. In a reflex arc, which structures are connected to a motor neuron by synapses? Motor neuron by synapse. What are connected? The effector and the relay neuron. So the answer is C, two and four. The effector, you see, and the relay neuron. You see, this is the sensory neuron, then it connects with the relay neuron, and then it connects with a motor neuron. So the relay neuron is connected, and then here the muscle is connected. So effector is the muscle. Effector can only be muscles and glands. 
A seed is placed and growing on a rotating disc as shown. Seed pinned to the constantly rotating disc. So that means all sides of are being affected by gravity. Which diagram shows the appearance of seedling after seven days? Well, it's going to be longer first of all, and then it's going to go straight. Why? Because the rotating disc is exerting gravity on it on all sides, so it's not going to bend. It, if it was stationary, this uh, this disc was stationary. Only then it would have gone down, like this. So what you have to understand is because it's a rotating disc, so that all sides are getting the effect of gravity. So it rotates on a very on a very uh, regular pattern every few hours or something like that. Question 58. Commercial plant growers use asexual reproduction to grow coffee plants which produce crops of coffee beans. What is the disadvantage of asexual reproduction? Now you see this is correct. The coffee beans produced by all of the plants are identical. That's exactly right. But that is not a disadvantage. Maybe you're doing it because they produce more coffee, or they produce the right flavor of coffee, and that coffee sells a lot in the market. So that is an advantage. Well, why are we growing all the same coffee beans? Is because we want a specific type of coffee which sells very well in the market. So though A is correct, but why is it wrong for this answer is what is the disadvantage of asexual reproduction and that is d all plants are equally susceptible to the same disease and if one of them is destroyed one of them suffers from a certain disease as a fungal disease of that crop or something then all of them will be dis uh, destroyed this is how the potato famine took place in ireland all the potato cro crops were clones and there was a uh, effect of there was a fungal disease and that killed all the potato crop and uh, upset the whole economy of ireland so that is why the answer is d understand why the answer is d and why it's not a many of you would have done a i know that 59 which statement about the human deficiency virus is correct Antibodies, which statement about human deficiency virus is correct? Antibodies cannot be made. HIV infections can be treated with antibiotics. No, virus cannot be treated with antibiotics. Antibodies cannot be made. Why? They will be made. C is correct. HIV destroys lymphocytes. HIV is not spread by coughing and sneezing. It's only by sexual contact. Question 60, a species of insects usually has pale colored things. This helps to camouflage them on pale colored tree trunks. A few of the insects in this species have dark colored wings. After a number of years, the tree trunks become darker in color due to environmental changes. The insects with dark colored wings become more common than insects with pale colored wings. Which process causes these changes in the proportion of insects with dark colored wings? Well, it's very obvious the answer is natural selection, but why are the others wrong? You see, biotechnology, we use some sort of a thing to uh, enhance some uh, properties, and that is biotechnology. Conservation is that if you were, some of them were becoming extinct, and then you did some measures to conserve those species. And selective breeding is when you want this artificial selection, is if you want a certain trait in them, and you want it for some human benefit, only then you do selective breeding. Like you want uh, uh, fungus-resistant wheat crop, or you want a high-yielding rice crop. And you do that by selective breeding. So that completes the difficult MCQs and I hope this is helpful for you all and thank you very much.